is attack surfaces that generate out of asset footprints of companies, right? Because a lot of companies are born in the cloud. Uh, it's increasingly easy to launch assets, like launch containers, launch new EC2 instances. So how do you keep track of that? How do you keep, up, uh, keep track of the inventory? How do you continuously monitor the relationships between those assets and the attack surfaces that get generated therein, right? So that's an area which is, which is largely uh, uh, pretty underserved, uh, so to say. But it's becoming increasingly important and a lot of CISOs are actually investing a lot of muscle behind this. So we see this becoming a very important area over the next couple of years. Yeah. Well, in the last few years, I mean, there's been a deluge of uh, different standards and acronyms. Every country has its own privacy laws. Uh, the fintech industry in India, for example, uh, needs to go through several audits, some of which were mandated by, uh, mandated by RBI as well, right? But the good news is that uh, a lot of these risks and controls are, like, are actually common across several standards. So what it means is that companies are actually now moving towards creating unified control frameworks where they can actually monitor the controls and risks which get mapped to multiple standards and frameworks in the back end. And from our side, we, make, we try to make the job easier by letting companies uh, club all of it together and manage it through a unified control framework and not necessarily have to worry about the various acronyms and the various frameworks that are out there in the market. It's been electrifying. Uh, it's been very good to meet people from the industry, exchange perspectives. It's an ever, ev it's an ever evolving space uh, and uh, it's probably hard for all of us to keep up uh, to the pace. Uh, so occasionally meeting and exchanging notes about these topics is it's super helpful. So it's been great.